Is the Jordan 4 Military Blue as, as comfortable as the SB4, or if not, as comfortable as the Black Cement Reimagined Jordan 4s? Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope you're all looking after yourselves. Today we're looking at the comfortability of the military blue Jordan 4 because we know the actual shape is actually schooled over or tooled over from the SB4s. So we are going to look at if this is as comfortable as the SB4 or if it's not, if it's as comfortable as the actual black cement or bread Jordan 4 reimagined. But before we look at that, please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation. Let's break it down like we always do and please do check out the Shoe Dog Podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks ATO where we talk about sneaker drama, sneaker news, sneaker bad behaviour because we always take that to sneaker court of public opinion and also please do keep doing the amazing things that you keep doing to actually keep progressing, to actually keep excelling and to actually keep making sure you hit your goals and your targets for 2024. But today, let's have a look at how comfortable these Jordan 4 military blues are in comparison to the SB4 and the Black Cement Reimagined Jordan 4. So guys, to actually test the actual military blue Jordan 4 I actually spent like an afternoon just wearing them to actually rock them to see how they felt in comparison to the actual SB4 and the black cement Jordan 4 reimagined basically I wanted to see if this because it's tooled like the SB4s as you can see this is slick this is basically refined at the toe this is basically tooled like the SB4 and tooled after the black cement reimagined Jordan 4 so going forward we know this actual tooling is based on the actual SB4. So how does it compare in terms of comfortability? Because like my previous review, which I actually, I'm gonna link up there, you can actually basically see that I compared the SB4 with the Black Cement Reimagined Jordan 4s. And I found the Black Cement Jordan 4 Reimagined a bit more comfortable than the SB4. Not too much, but both of those sneakers were comfortable. But because every single Jordan 4 is going to be tooled in a similar vein to the actual SB4, is it going to be as comfortable? Is it going to be as padded? Is it going to give you that comfortability in the long run? Or is it just the SB4 and the Black Cement Reimagined Jordan 4 that are going to give you that comfortability? And now we're going to put that to the test because I know that's a mouthful for me to say, but now we're going to put that to the test because is this as comfortable? And I'm going to say no, but yes, but no, that's the, that's basically what I'm going to tell you guys because there's a lot of factors to this. This is better than the actual regular Jordan 4 and why I say that is because of the actual padding in the inside. This feels like the inside actual inner lining is more padded than the regular Jordan 4 and as soon as you put this sneaker on your feet, you can feel that. The tongue's not as padded as the SB4s, but basically you can feel the inner lining cushion which is thicker and that's what actually makes it a bit more comfortable than the Jordan 4, a regular Jordan 4. But in terms of just wearing it about, I can actually tell you that you will feel a slight stiffness in the actual midsole, which needs to be broken in. And I feel like as soon as you break your sneaker in, it's gonna be way more comfortable. And that's what I get with this sneaker because I wore it for one afternoon. I walked that like basically spent like the whole afternoon wearing these sneakers, going shopping and all of that stuff and doing some like B-roll and just taking some pictures. As you can see, I've done some on feet walking pictures and videos as well. And I'm gonna actually link them to this so you can see. But guys, this is a good sneaker, very good sneaker, more comfortable than the actual regular Jordan 4, but it does still have those little tweaks. It does touch your pinky. I, I felt it both sides of my pinky. Eventually, nearer the time I was actually gonna take them off, but it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like a big deal. It, I could just, it was almost like living with a slight touch and it was still fine still fine loose laces do it well and i found that with sneakers when you loose lace them they don't actually grip onto your actual feet as much as a, a really tight sneaker would and basically that gives you more of that flexibility i do feel in the long run this will be super comfortable and when you wear it it'll be super comfortable but it doesn't give you that comfortability off the bat just like the sb4 does or the black cement reimagined jordan 4 does because those are super comfortable as soon as you wear them and that's one thing that actually takes it down a notch in terms of the comfortability factor i do feel it's a, a great sneaker to have in your rotation it's be a beautiful colorway the thickness of the inner lining does a lot to it as well it just isn't as comfortable but i tell you what the actual sneaker held up quite well in terms of the wearability on that sneaker because on this you only got like a bit of a crease right on the toe there as well and even on the left hand side you got nothing you pretty much got no creases on this 
maybe I would say right the corner there, but it's literally really, really hard to tell how this sneaker is squeezed. It lives up really well. The leather feels great as well in terms of it just doesn't want to crease as much as like you would normally. Maybe it's because I actually loose lace this, which is a bit more of a beneficial factor if you want to like avoid that creasing on the sneaker. But it lived up really well. It lived up really well. The comfortability, I was walking around in it for a good couple of hours, maybe did like 10k steps on it. It is a great sneaker to wear. It is way more comfortable than any regular Jordan 4. But like going forwards, expect every Jordan 4 to have this quality. Expect every Jordan 4 to come with this comfortability because unless we see another SP4 which we're getting next year we're not going to get the same comfortability with just a regular Jordan 4 like the SP4s because we know the SP4s is extra padded it's extra thickness it gives you extra zoom and it just kind of gave you that rather room factor which gave you that comfortability with it I do love these as well I do I way more appreciate these the actual grayness on the sneaker like the white grayness on the sneaker isn't looking as grey in like normal daylight it is a head turner because as I was wearing this a lot of people were like looking around and seeing what we were doing especially with the videos that we're doing but also basically it was giving you that wow effect it just still is a beautiful sneaker in terms of my likability on the sneaker i actually like it a bit more it's way more comfortable like i said just than just any regular jordan 4 pre-dating the sp4 it's a good thing because going forward it means every jordan 4 will have that comfortability factor a, a semi better comfortability factor than any regular jordan 4 because I wasn't getting the same issue with the pinky toe rubbing or like I do with a normal Jordan 4 because basically it felt like I had more room in the inside of the toe which meant even though the pinky toe was touching it was not constantly rubbing against the actual inner lining or inside of the sneaker which a lot of people feel like with this with the Jordan 4 and this is why it hurts a lot of people but a great sneaker a beautiful sneaker and the comfortability is up there is not as good as like I said the SB4s or the actual Black Cement Jordan 4s reimagines but it's still giving you more of a comfortable feel than the actual regular Jordan 4 which is great because when you get colorways like this guys it is beautiful to put on your feet to rock and just to constantly wear because that is a beautiful sneaker this is a beautiful sneaker with the Nike Air on the back always always remember that Nike Air on the back but yeah that's my thoughts guys that's how I feel about the sneaker and that's why I wanted to let you guys know how comfortable this sneaker was in comparison to what we've just seen previously with the SB4s and the black cement Jordan 4 reimagined which are both dope variations and it's good to see the comfortability factor increase over the years because we always want comfortable sneakers from our brands but that was the actual comfortability test for my personal opinion let me know your thoughts about how you feel about this sneaker in terms of comfortability how you feel about just a general sneaker in total is the Jordan 4 military blue as comfortable as the actual black cement Jordan 4s because everybody's feet's different let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions and let's have that discussion but for me TJ and Love K Customs hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and I hope you guys always cop the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want from me TJ and Love Kit Customs peace out for now guys and peace